Hey, it's your boy, Bobby you want to talk about a subject that comes to mind, and that is Bardock the Savior. That is absolutely correct. Now, we're learning more and more and more about Bardock in terms of Goku's father. Now, this is a big thing. Whether a lot of people realize it or not, this is very big. And what I mean by that is that we, we've known about Bardock for over 20 years. <laughs> we've been given the Bardock movie. Uh, we've even got a Bardock movie as well, like, what, the episode of Bardock? So there's a lot of Bardock content. And the thing is, when it comes down to it, okay, this is a character that hasn't really been mentioned too much, or they haven't really talked to him about too much inside of the canon of Dragon Ball, other than the fact that he's the father of Goku. Now, let me remind you of something. They said that the Bardock movie, and they said that the special are, what, non-canon, but at the end of the day, that doesn't stop fans from loving Bardock, and guess what? That don't stop him from being one of the best characters that we play with in Dragon Ball Fighters. Ha! Huh. Now, when it comes down to it, basically, what I'm trying to say to you guys is that Bardock is now starting to become a person who was there now he played a big part in um what the broly movie where literally the first half of the movie he was the main character so it was, it was pretty much him being this character that was he wasn't knocking the sayings and what the sayings did it's just he was a thinking saying he was pretty much like if everybody wants to be a brute he was a thinking brute so it was a situation of that now bardock is starting to come more and more into the picture because now we have him here in the granola story where he pretty much saved granola and his mother he attempted to save the mother and then we found out how far back the heaters actually go because see now i thought he was just somebody new but guess what they've actually been there the whole time they were always around it's just these are the people that we didn't encounter and you'd think that vegeta would know who they are because vegeta obviously worked with them to some degree so you're thinking to yourself okay what the heck is going on at the end of the day when it comes down to it um basically Goku knows who his dad is now. Not only does he know who his dad is, he's wondering about his father. So are we in a situation where Goku may want to wish his father back? Or is we are in a situation where he may want to know more about his father? Because we know Goku can pretty much talk to people on the other side if he wanted to. Had that conversation with Bardock, you get what I'm saying. Basically asking him some questions like, hey man, why I look so much like you? Hey man, why did you send me off the planet? Why didn't you escape too? All that kind of stuff. And guess what? Hey, is Turles your son? All kind of stuff like that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. These are things that we absolutely need. So when it comes down to it, with my boy Bardock, I'm loving the fact that he's getting all the attention, but you gotta bring back that Bardock that we love, the one with the, you know, the scar on his face. He's still got scars. But his whole outfit, his whole saying gimmick, because in his special, in his movie, he was like a mercenary. But the thing was, was that he was just, what, hit by that dude and became super intelligent like a prophet. But then again, this Bardock that we got right now, he automatically was a Bardock who he started looking at things a little bit differently. So I don't know which one I like more. Just merge them both together because I love old school Bardock, but then I love current school Bardock. Put them together, make the Bardock that we know. That is what I want to see. But then again, if you add episode of Bardock as canon, you won't have to do all that. Because technically, he's probably alive. But that's pretty much all I got to say to you guys. I just want to say that it is your boy, Bobby Beast here. I just want to say much love, much respect, hold it down, and whoa. Hey, it's your boy, Bobby Beast. You want to talk about a subject that comes to mind, and that is Bardock.